In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, we are encouraged to both remember and to pray for those who face deadly peril. Here at Lutheran Church Charities, we continue to support those who are suffering and are in need, those who are facing such deadly peril throughout the world. As you have an opportunity to listen to these next brothers and sisters who express their journey in the faith as they face such deadly peril. I encourage you to remember them and to keep them in your prayers. Uh, my name is Ina Kanyoka. I'm Ukrainian. I'm mother of two daughters, and now I live in the United States of America in Hoffman Estates. Before the war broke out our life, uh, my actual life was very happy, successful, and uh, Everything was like in a fairy tale. The morning of 24 just uh, changed our life. When I opened my eyes I, I, and uh, just wake up very quickly, I can uh, I heard this bumping size, uh, bumping sounds. Then I just uh, quickly wake up my kids and I told that we have to go. I can't stay here. My spouse uh, was hesitating for for a long for a couple hours told me you and you and daughters <laughs> you three just go and i stay here i i i wanted to cry like very much but i am just understand that i have to be very very, very strong uh, because my kids they were very scared and he told them oh guys you might to have a very big journey when we reach the poland uh, we met wonderful people, they helped us, um, they took us to their home, they gave us their shelter for two weeks uh, and helped for uh, everything, uh, helped us with uh, my documents. Uh, they helped me to apply for visa to United States uh, Embassy and uh, in two weeks we actually got visa and in two days we uh, were here. I was trying to find some Ukrainian community because I have deep, deep uh, pain and um, wish to find my people here. Um, I, I had a very terrible um, emotional situation um, and I, I was trying to seek it for Ukrainians. <laughs> Google showed me that near me there is some church, Ukrainian church. We met one wonderful woman. Uh, she just saw me and she just asked me if I would like to join their prayer group. Uh, I told her my story and she was so like very sad with me. And in that way, in the time, Father Mikhailo just uh, passed hour and she stopped him with the question, Oh, Father Mikhailo, I have a wonderful girl here with two kids. Maybe do you have a chance uh, of someone who can help her? And we met wonderful family from the United States uh, who, who met us and hosted us like, like we were their relatives, like I'm their daughter. Ah. We were um, very like impressed by that way how they uh, were kind for us. Uh, uh, Ukrainian church in Palatine, uh, they made this, um, they are doing this. Um, mission and uh, uh, with people, with God and with Father Mikhailo, we only raise up and uh, find each other. When I get, uh, when I met Father Mikhailo and uh, in such unexpected way, mm -hmm. such a magic way, he helped me and he just connect me with people who for me are very, like I always told them that you my angels on this, uh, on this world. And uh, of course, it changed my mind a lot. And uh, this changes and this sign that I'm not alone. And um, I can even get their support in such strange, amazing way. I believe that it's all the, like God's uh, plan. I, I didn't have any experience of having such a uh, relationship with a God before I came here. 
uh, Father Mikhailo asked me to be the leader of some youth uh, church uh, mm -hmm. uh, community. And he told me, please do this for me. And of course, after that miracle he, that he did it for me, I say, of course, <laughs> huh, I can do that. And I organized a lot of people, like more than 30 people in the same community. And we pray. Now we start to pray maybe twice, a, uh, twice even a week. We pray. We pray for each other. We pray for Ukrainians. We pray for Ukrainian kids. And I was, and now I'm sure that in this way, the God showed me that He is in my life, that He loves me and He supports me. 